We got some breaking news. Kyrie Irving has just been traded, not to the Los Angeles Lakers, not to the Clippers, to the Dallas Mavericks. Yes, in a sudden turn of events, the Dallas Mavericks have pulled the trigger and they have landed Kyrie Irving, who will now play alongside Luka Doncic, creating a dynamic duo in Dallas. Make sure you guys hit a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more vids just like this. It is NBA trade deadline week, and the deals are already happening as the Brooklyn Nets have agreed to trade Kyrie Irving to the Dallas Mavericks for a package including Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, a first round pick and multiple second round picks this was according to shams who was the first to break the news and this news came out of nowhere because a lot of people were speculating that the lakers were just moments away from pulling this thing off lebron james even hinting at it that they were going to bring in kyrie irving as that third star but dallas just a day later not even 24 hours after they lost to the Golden State Warriors. They bring in some much needed help for Luka Doncic. And this is what Woj said. The Nets Mavericks talks accelerated on a trade today, sources said. The Lakers and Nets had several conversations on a potential deal, but Nets preferred Mavs package. Getting back a point guard and wing to plug in now, plus the future picks. Woj went on to say, Mavericks GM Nico Harrison has a long history with Irving going back to their Nike days together, and Jason Kidd wanted this trade. Dallas needed a second star for Luka Doncic and gets him with Irving. Mavs can see how it goes and decide on new deal in offseason. So this is a big get for the Dallas Mavericks in my opinion. Dallas desperately needed somebody to play alongside Luka. And you don't just have somebody now. You have Kyrie Irving, who if engaged, we know what Kyrie Irving is capable of. We know he can be that second star who can help a team win a championship and this is a Mavs team that suffered mightily without Luka Doncic I mean everything fell on Luka's shoulders and these numbers speak volumes to how much was on Luka's shoulders in the games without Luka Doncic this season the Mavs had an 0-7 record they were 30th in defense 30th in field goal percentage 30th in three-point percentage 30th in net rating and 28 in offense and we just saw that in the game against the Warriors. The Mavs were getting blown out at one point. I know Steph got injured. The Mavs were able to make it somewhat of a game, but they still lost that game. So having Kyrie Irving will alleviate so much of the pressure. I think this is going to work brilliantly because one of the biggest flax to Luka's game was that he had to do too much. He had to put up these absurd stat lines. He had to drop 60 points just for the Mavs to win the game. Now, Luka can play a more comfortable game. As long as Kyrie Irving doesn't have any off-the-court shenanigans and he's plugged in, he's dialed in, he believes in what the Mavs are trying to do there and he gets along with the likes of Jason Kidd and the rest of the coaching staff, I think this is going to be a good fit for Kyrie Irving, and I think Luka Doncic is now going to marvel over the fact that he now has a true all-star to play with. So now this is the Dallas Mavericks potential starting lineup with Kyrie Irving. You're looking at Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, Tim Hardaway Jr., Christian Wood, and Dwight Powell. So remember, the Dallas Mavericks made... The Western Conference Finals last year and they didn't have a secondary star next to Luka so now you're talking about a Mavs team that obviously brought in Christian Wood in the offseason they still have Tim Hardaway Jr and now you're gonna have Kyrie Irving a bona fide all-star playing alongside Luka don't underestimate how far this Mavs team can go and I really think this duo of Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving will work again a lot of it's gonna fall on where Kyrie Irving's mindset is at but he wanted out he wanted a new change of scenery. He's going to get it. Mark Cuban finally delivers what fans within the Mavs fan base have been calling for for quite some time, and that is getting Luka Doncic help and getting him a secondary star. It didn't work with Przingis. Obviously, the Mavs tried to do something at last year's deadline. They got Dinwiddie. It brought him to a conference finals, but that wasn't enough, and here we are in 2023, just a couple days before the NBA trade deadline and the Mavs get aggressive and bring in Kyrie Irving. So we'll see if this is finally the solution in Dallas 
and we will see if this is finally the formula to get the Mavericks over the top and make them a legitimate title contender. And I mean, I like this move from Dallas. I like that they are getting aggressive now. You got to look at the Western Conference, guys. It is wide open. The Golden State Warriors just beat this Mavs team the other night, but they're going to be without Stephen Curry for a couple of weeks now. Those are the defending champs. And then you look at other parts of the Western Conference. There is not a lot separating teams in the West. I mean, the Nuggets are on an island of their own, but outside of that, the Western Conference is still very wide open. And just for reference here, Dallas at the time of this trade are in sixth place, 28 and 26, and they are just two and a half games back of the Kings who are in the third seat. So Dallas goes on a run here. They go on a roll. Luka comes back healthy. Kyrie is clicking. And this Dallas team can all of a sudden become a top three team going into the playoffs. You got to feel good if you're a Mavs fan. And I wouldn't even rule out Dallas potentially getting the two seat because they're only five games back of the Grizzlies who are the two seed. And the Grizzlies, they've been slumping lately. They're three and seven in their last 10. They've lost two in a row. So Dallas can quickly turn around their season for the better. This was a team that many people had as a playing team coming into the season. And they've been kind of flirting six seed, seven seed, eight seed. But this is a team that can quickly go north if they can get things going with their new dynamic duo of Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. So don't sleep on the Dallas Mavericks in the West. I am a fan of this move for Dallas. They got aggressive, which they needed to. Mark Cuban makes the big deal. They get Kyrie Irving, who when he's at the peak of his powers, we know what he's capable at. So we'll see if this experiment works in Dallas. But given the cards, given what was available, this makes sense for Dallas and for the Lakers I mean these guys it looked like they were so close to pulling it off I thought the Lakers were ultimately going to be the destination for Kyrie just given the fit there with LeBron and Kyrie but this comes as a surprise to many as Kyrie doesn't go to the Lakers he doesn't go to the Clippers he doesn't go to the Suns he goes to the Dallas Mavericks so yeah, that is basically it for today's video, guys. I had an entirely different video recorded. The news dropped. I scrapped that video, and I had to release this. So what is your reaction to this trade? And by the way, I like this trade for both teams. I think the Brooklyn Nets, given their situation, getting back some solid pieces in Spencer Dinwiddie, who's going to return to Brooklyn. He had some great play as a net when he was there in his first tenure finney smith mass fans know what he's capable of doing they get the pick so i think that's a good deal for brooklyn as well i actually think this is a nice trade for both sides but let me know where your reaction is to this trade mass fans are you happy with this trade are you happy to see Kyrie with Luka? I know there are concerns now about the Mavs defense and people calling this a gamble as Kyrie Irving could walk this offseason after it's all said and done, but I still like the aggressiveness and I like the eagerness of Mark Cuban of rolling the dice here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I read all of them. And again, guys, drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Plus ring the bell. Any other breaking news that happens, I will be all over it. We're a couple days away from the NBA trade deadline and something tells me this might might just be the first big domino to fall and there could be many more moves on the horizon for other NBA teams looking to get aggressive and buy this deadline. That is it for me. This is Luca signing off. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all again in the next video.